RoboForm Pro Backup. Now obviously it's important, particularly if we've got um, a lot of uh, pass cards stored, um, we want to be able to back them up or to save them somewhere in case anything happens to the machine that we happen to be working on. And you do that by going to Options, User Data, and you'll see in here that this is the location, this is where your actual user data is stored at the moment, um, and you can change that if you wish. Um, for now, I'd advise you leave it set as it is. And you can see down here, you've got two options, backup and restore. Now, I like to back up when I've added quite a few more identities, but I mean, personally, I do it on a weekly basis anyway. But you definitely want to back up before you changed your master password, because if you change your master password and then forget it, you're doomed. You've lost your password, effectively. Um, you'll never be able to um, use those pass cards again, you'll, you'd have to delete them and start again. So before um, you change your master password and regularly, you'd need to back up. Now you can use the automatic backup procedure, which is here, so I'll click backup. And now it's asking me where I want to back up to. Now I've created um, a folder called RoboForm Backup and in there um, I've got two folders. I'd create a new one per month or per week or daily even if you wished. Now I know this one's empty because I've just created it for test purposes. I'll click OK. It just warns me that's what it's going to do. I say yep, OK, that's fine. And we're done. So if I, I now open Windows Explorer and go and have a look in that folder, you can see we've got all the pass cards and all the configuration information that RoboForm needs is safely stored um, in that location. Um, I could do it manually if I wished. If I go to Explore Folder, this is where RoboForm actually stores its data. Um, and I could just as easily have highlighted the default folder, copied it, gone to my backup folder, and pasted it in there. And then again, if I check in there, you'll see exactly the same information. Um, there are a lot of other options here. We can, um, we can actually um, synchronize our folders or our, our pass cards um, to a server. Um, online, but it's something that um, we'll cover later on. So that's the end of backing up um, your pass cards, backing up RoboForm. Um, in the next video, we'll cover what happens if disaster strikes and we actually need to restore. In passing, if you've backed up your, um, I've backed up or you've backed up your Uh, pass cards here. Oh, that's all very well, but remember, they are stored on this local computer still. Okay, it is a copy, it is backed up, I, I could restore, but if anything happens to this computer, I've, I've still lost everything. So I personally like to copy this whole folder uh, with all my backups in onto a USB stick, and then because I'm paranoid, I actually take it off-site. So I'll, I'll take a copy of them and I'll give them to my mum, dad, or whatever, um, uh, to put in a drawer for me, just in case anything happens to the location I happen to be in. That's highly unlikely, uh, but remember, the backups are stored on your machine. So if anything happens to your machine, if it crashes, uh, if the hard disk goes, then you've lost everything. So remember, back it up at least to a USB stick afterwards for safekeeping. So I'll see you in the next video.